Hey, Julie Powell here again and welcome back for another tutorial. Um, this time I'm just going to do a quick walkthrough on this piece called Moon Dance, which is just something a little bit whimsical that I was actually listening to the song Moon Dance by Van Morrison when I started playing with this and it, I guess it inspired me and it took on a whole new sort of different direction than um, I may have been originally thinking of going. So this is the finished piece um, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn that off and we're going to go right back to the start. So it started off with this background which is actually a Jai Johnson piece. Um, I was just after sort of the hill and, and the sky um, but I took a very different sort of approach when I got into it. So. Um, I darkened it up to start with and did a um, brightness contrast layer as well and really did make it sort of a bit muddy. Um, I then put in my moon which I've just extracted but then I went and put these moon beams in behind it. Um, I also then went and put in my trees. Now these are just trees that have been made in Photoshop so I don't know if you've ever rendered trees before um, but just to give you an idea it's really quick and easy so if you go to filter render and you can go to tree and this is the tree that I put up but you can change it to so many different trees so you could have a cypress tree you can um, change what color you want so you can have it green you can come back and you can change the light direction you can change how many leaves you want um, the leaf size so you can make them bigger um, the branch height Um, and you can change the thickness of the trunk as well. So you can really play around with, and you can put different leaves on the tree. So you can really make your own custom tree. Um, and then you just click OK and it pops it in there. So that's the tree that I just created. So what I did was I made one tree and then I just kept duplicating it. And moving it across then I added some um, I duplicated them again and blurred them added a hue saturation layer to take all the color and everything out make them quite dark and I used those as the shadows I just flipped them over and changed the perspective um, and then of course I put in Haley um, which was a piece that was done in the studio a couple of years ago um, I extracted her and then I just applied the um, layer mask because I wanted to her dress was quite straight in the image and I wanted to put a liquify on it just to give the the dress so it looks like it's billowing in the the autumn winds a little bit um, and I brightened her up a little bit with a curves mask. Um, I then also added a little bit of an inner glow. Um, that was just with the FX panel and I did an inner glow. Like such. Um, I then made it as a separate so you can come in for instance on this one and you can create a separate layer which is what I did here um, and then I just deleted it off where I didn't want it. Um, I then using a brush I brushed in all these sort of glitter and fireflies using another specialty brush in um, Photoshop and these are just standard Photoshop brushes I used um, some autumn leaves these are just loaded in here somewhere or other but these are just standard sort of so there's scattered maple leaves um, 
and then there's scattered leaves here which is what I use just to give it sort of a bit of a, a wind in the thing then using a grass brush I painted in some grass a um, couple of different types of grass brushes then I did a look up table this one's moonlight at 43% and then this one is night from day at 27% I then put in a bit of a moon glow. This is just a gradient um, filter light. Oops, clicked on the wrong one. Let's try this one. So it's just a gradient fill from white to blue, but I um, just dropped the opacity down. I then merged it all and I took it into Topaz Restyle um, and I don't know if you've ever used it before. So I used one called Sparklers and Star Trails but you can completely redo the whole look of the image um, with various different presets that have been made in here and I just went tonight but there's a whole heap of other ones that you can use which are loads of fun and then I dropped the opacity down to 66% because I felt it was just a bit too strong um, but I really liked where it was going I then added a little bit of grass just to her feet and I put a texture over the top um, was set to multiply at 60% um, just to give you an idea I did try it at soft light but I really liked how it just darkened and grunged everything up a little bit on multiply I then did another merge and then I took it into a program called um, Boris FX which gave it a bit of a diffusion and a few other bits and pieces that I played with. Um, I can't even really tell you exactly what I did to it because I was just literally um, pressing buttons and learning. But that was um, where I took it in here. But again, it was too strong. So um, I brought it back. So this is the final piece, um, a little bit of whimsy, um, there's some real play with colours with the blues and the oranges and the yellows, um, it was just some fun to play with um, and sometimes it's like that and as I said I took complete inspiration as I was doing this from um, a song called Moon Dance by Van Morrison, so um, yeah let music inspire you. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.